everyone, this is Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to crochet my Waffle On cowl. It's a brand new pattern release and you can find that crochet pattern on my blog and I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. If you make this cow according to the pattern measurements, you're going to get a cow that's about 8 inches wide and about 60 inches all the way around. And one really neat thing about this cow is if you want to wear it as a scarf, because we stitch it in rows and then attach it at the end, you don't have to attach it and it can be a scarf as well. And I really love this pattern because of course this beautiful waffle looking stitch on the front but even the back is very lovely and it's a nice tight stitch it's very classy and elegant and it can work for a man or a woman or a boy or a girl just by adjusting it and the way that you will adjust this pattern is it measures eight inches across and three chains equal one inch so if you want to make it a little bit narrower you can subtract three chains per inch and if you want to make it wider you can add three chains per inch and if you want to make it longer two rows equal an inch and so since we're going to do a 60 inch we're going to do 120 rows if you want to make it shorter do less if you want to make it longer you can do longer so that's one of the reasons that i also love this cow is because it's totally adjustable for anyone what you're going to need to make the waffle on cow is about seven ounces of any worsted weight number four acrylic yarn this is one of red heart's older striping yarns I don't have the wrapper anymore, so I don't know what it's called. It's, it is very pretty with the teals and greens, but you'll need about seven ounces. And for today's demonstration, I'm going to be using this. This is Red Heart Colorscape, and it's going and it's in the color Rome. And you'll need two of these. These are three and a half um, ounces, and so you'll need two of these to make the cowl. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous yarn? I really love this yarn for this project because it's soft and sturdy. We'll be stitching today with our eye hook. The eye hook is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a needle for weaving in your ends and then you'll need your scissors. To get started, we're going to begin with a slip knot. And then we're going to chain 27 chains. Now remember, if you chain 27 chains, you're going to get a scarf or a cowl, I should say, that is 8 inches wide. If you want to add inches to your scarf, you'll need to add 3 chains per inch. If you want to subtract, the width of your scarf, you'll need to subtract three chains per inch. If you want your cowl to be the same size as mine, eight inches wide, you'll need to chain 27 chains. So I've chained my 27 chains. I'm going to place a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four. Yarn over, go in that chain, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over, and go through the second two. Now the chain three counts is our first double crochet, and then we stitched another one. So now we're going to stitch one double crochet in each of the chains across. And at the end of this row, you'll need 25 double crochets. This is our foundation row for our cowl. one double crochet in each of the chains across. So 
So I completed this row. I have 25 double crochets. I'm going to chain one and turn. And normally when you do a double crochet or double crochet rows, you're going to chain three. But because of the way we're going to be stitching our waffle on cow, we're only going to be chaining one at the end or beginning of each row and it does not count as a stitch. All right, now we're going to be stitching a front post double crochet in this very first stitch. Yarn over, we're gonna come down and go around that post stitch, pull up our loop and finish our double crochet. And we're going to be do the, doing this at the beginning of each row and it's going to give us a nice edge to our cowl so we don't have to come back and add any kind of an edge. We're going to double crochet in the next two stitches. Then we're going to front post double crochet in the next. So we'll yarn over, go around the post of the stitch, and finish our double crochet. Then we'll double crochet in the next two double crochets. And you'll see a pattern forming here of two double crochets, a front post double crochet, and two double crochets and we'll repeat this across. So front post double crochet and then two double crochets, one in each of the next two. Front post double crochet, one in each of the next two Front post, double crochet, one double crochet in the next two. One, two, and then front post, double crochet. And we'll continue this across this row. And you can see that pattern emerging of two double crochets between front post double crochets. I completed this row, two double crochets in between my front post double crochets. You're going to end with two double crochets and then you'll have one stitch left. And that's our chain three that we started with. And we're going to front post double crochet around that chain three. Usually we stitch up in the top of the chain three, but we're going to go around it. So yarn over, go around, and I mean through the whole chain that's there, and stitch our double crochet and chain one. So there's your row two. We're going to turn our work. And we only chained one. And on this row, we're going to be doing a back post double crochet and then two front post double crochets. And uh, don't worry, don't panic, I'll walk you through it. So we're gonna yarn over. We're gonna go around that first double crochet post in the back and finish our double crochet. And take it slow, it can be a little clumsy at first, but it gives a nice edge to our cowl. So now we have the two double crochets that were in between our front posts from our previous row. And we're going to be stitching those as front posts on this side. So yarn over, go around that post and stitch your double crochet. <clears throat> And we'll do the next one as well as a front post double crochet. And then we'll come to the front post from the previous row 
and we'll stitch that back post because it's on the back side of our work this time. And that's the way the pattern for this row will work. We'll stitch two front post double crochets, one in each of the next two. Then we'll stitch the back post around that front post from the previous row. And I know that seems a little confusing, but when we turn our row, um, the front of our work is this way now instead of this way. And um, that's just the way that it works. Now, this is actually the back of our work that we're working here. Two front posts and a back post. Let me stitch this stitch and I'm going to turn it over again so that you can see. I'm going to give myself a good nice big loop. Let's turn it back over. So here's that row that we stitched front post with two in between. <clears throat> they're front posts because they're on the front of our where we're working. It's not the front of our completed cowl. It's just the front of where we're working. All right. So then when you turn your work, we're calling these front posts because they're on the front of where we're working, but it's actually the back of the cowl. All right. So I hope that that explained it just a little bit better. And so the way this row three works is one front post around the next two stitches and then a back post around the next stitch. And that next stitch is the front post from the previous row. And this is how we get that waffle looking stitch. And the waffle stitch refers to the way a waffle looks when you pull it out of the waffle maker. It has all those little indented squares. So let's go ahead and just work across this row, stitching those two front post stitches. Then back post, two front post stitches. Then a back post, two front post double crochets. back post, double crochet. Then we're to our last two front post stitches. And now we're to our last stitch on this row and we're going to stitch it as a back post. So we'll yarn over, we'll come around from the back and stitch that double crochet. And by doing this on these ends, again, you're going to get just a really nice edge. We're going to chain one and turn. And this is the way your row three should look. Let's do row four. Row four, we're going to yarn over. We're going to go around and stitch a front post on that first stitch. And then we're back to stitching two regular double crochets. Don't go around the post, stitch it in the top on the two. Then we'll stitch a front post double crochet and then repeat this across. Two regular old double crochets in the next two stitches, one in each of the next two, and then the front post double crochet. One double crochet in each of the next two. And a front post double crochet in the next. And you can see those squares starting to pop out and get that look of the waffle stitch. Alrighty, so we'll just continue this across. One double crochet in the next two. 
and a front post in the next across this row. And once you get the hang of those front posts and back post double crochet stitches, this pattern is a breeze. All right, I'm to those last two double crochets. And then we're going to stitch that last one around that stitch. And there you have it. We finished up this row and you can see that it's starting to look like waffle squares. <laughs> All right, so let's chain one and turn our work. And now we're just going to repeat what we did on this row. We're going to begin with that back post, double crochet on our first stitch, so yarn over, come around from the back, and stitch that first stitch. Then we'll stitch two front posts, one in each of these next two. And then we'll stitch that back post, just like we did on the previous, or actually two previous rows. And then just repeat this across the row. Two front post stitches, one in each of these next two. And then a back post. And repeat across. two front post stitches and one back post stitch. And we'll continue this across. There we go. And just take your time until you're comfortable with your front and back post stitches. And if you're a little concerned about making the whole cowl at first, you can always practice with some of your leftover yarns until you're confident. Because remember, what I always say is that practice builds confidence. All right, we're to the last two front post stitches. And now we're going to stitch that as a back post. That last stitch, we're going to chain one and turn. And this is how your cow should look. This is the front and this is the back. And I love both sides of how this cowl works out. What you're going to do is you're going to continue to repeat these last two rows with front post, two double crochets, front post, all the way across, chain one, turn, and then you'll stitch the back post, two front post, back post, two front post, all the way across, chain one, turn, and you'll repeat that until it's the amount of rows that you need. Now, if you're making this cowl according to the pattern that I have written, you're going to need to do 120 rows. 
because two rows equal one inch, and that's going to get you a 60 inch cowl. If you want it longer for say a really tall person, or you want it shorter because you're making it for a child, make sure you measure it out and add or subtract two rows per inch. But like I said, you'll just continue to repeat those last two rows that we did until your cowl is the length that you want it to be. I've completed my 120 rows of waffle stitch for my cowl. And I really love this yarn. Look at those gorgeous colors. Now, if you want to make this into just a scarf, when you get to your last row, go ahead and stitch a row of double crochet like we did at the beginning of this one, just so you'll have an ending row. If you're going to make it into a cow, which is what I'm going to do because that's what I like, because I lose my scarves if I'm wearing a cow, it stays put. And so what we're going to do is put the two ends together. But before we do that, I want you to notice the sides of my cow and how they kind of have a little bit of a ripple edge. It just has a nice edge and we don't have to go back and put any kind of trim on this cowl. All right, so what we're going to do is we're gonna put the two ends together. Now I'm not twisting this cowl like an infinity scarf, but if you want your cowl to have a little twist in it, just take your scarf and turn it over and then that will give you a little twist in your scarf or your cowl, I mean. So we'll put the two ends together and you'll just put your hook through and your hook through here. Grab that loop and pull it through. And basically what we're going to do is we're just gonna single crochet the ends closed. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a chain one and then I'm just gonna start going across stitching a single crochet. Stitch on this side, the stitch on the other side, going across, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through both loops. And I'll just work my way across my cowl, hooking it together. Now you'll notice I'm doing this with my right sides out. This is the front of my cowl. And I do that because that's the way I like to do it. If you wanna do it the other way and stitch this on the inside, you can. And I'm gonna show you, as soon as I get just a little farther, the reason that I'm doing it on the right sides, with the right sides out. All right, let me make a little loop so that it doesn't come out. But if you open up your cowl, you'll notice that you have stitches across here. And I don't like those showing on the front of my cowl, so I'll just make that little stitch across there, and I'll just make sure that that is on the back of my neck when I'm wearing my cowl. But it's totally up to you. It's not a big deal with a yarn that's a little bit fuzzy like this one is. It's soft and fuzzy. But when you're using a, a yarn that is just a basic or should wait for this project, those stitches really show through. And I just think it looks a little bit messy. So I'd rather have this uh, row of single crochets across on the front. And again, it's up to you and what you like best. Alrighty, so I'm just moving across, stitching my two sides together. There we go. And then once we get to the end, We'll cut that off, tie that off, and use our needle to weave that in. And we have our other end from where we started on the other side. And if you're using the color scapes, you're going to have two other ends where you joined in your next uh, skein of yarn. So we're just gonna go in like this. And I like to go in underneath between the two rows and weave that in under here. And that's how easy it is to crochet my waffle on cowl. 
and it's the perfect cowl for a man or woman or boy or girl. You can totally adjust it in the width, in the length, and by the colors of the yarns that you choose. <music>